Guys, what's up? It's Rayers and it's the weekend. It is Saturday and today I'm just going to be talking about my elf brushes. Now for the majority of my makeup, um, I don't want to say career, my makeup, uh, what's the right word? What's the right word? Binge. There we go. My makeup binge. That's been going on for two or three years. Um, I've been using these elf brushes. And I will be doing an empties video talking about some that I'm going to toss out later on. But anyways, um, I'm just going to go over this. I bought this maybe two years ago. Haven't used it. I had plans back then to... Um, practice doing makeup on people never really panned out because I've been busy with school so anyways this is um uh the what is it the dollar line or the essential line brushes is this packaging considered old by now let me know if you've recently purchased any from elf but yeah this is what I received um a while back when I ordered it and it's every single essentials brush to my knowledge um let's see what they have in here okay so here we have a concealer brush a lip defining brush that looks cool the smudge eye sponge the bro comb and I'm sorry the brow comb and brush actually I think I'm going to be using this for when I use my um my 3D mascara from Yonique. Let's see here. I have this 3D mascara. I haven't used it because I've been growing out my lashes. Um I had this condition of this bad habit of taking them out. But um I've been growing them and growing them because I really wanted to try this. I know it's a weird habit. It's a weird thing to admit, but anyway. Um, so I'm going to be using this for that. So I'm going to take it out. Although they do have their own lash comb, the company. But, um, I'm just going to use this first until I get used to a routine of using it. And then here is the concealer brush. Very tiny. I don't know. This, hopefully this isn't stiff because a concealer brush I don't think should be stiff. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Uh, bronzing brush this one only lasts for so long uh, after a while the brush will start coming out but yeah it's okay to use quickly you know this might you might consider putting this in a travel kit in case you don't want to lose like your good brushes you know what I'm saying so I'll probably make myself a travel kit with something like this foundation brush I never really use this as a foundation brush actually I've never used it at all and you know what's weird is that I have another one right here. I don't know where I got it from or why I have another one, but I have another one. So I think I am going to attempt to use that in the near future. Um, here we have, okay, I can't see it. The blending eye brush right here. This one I have been using. And I have one over here that's already used. And that is strange because this one looks bigger than this one. Like, is there a variation of these brushes? Like, is there something that I do not know? Or is that because I've been cleaning it and maybe pulling it from the stem? I don't know. But I always remembered this one being being uh, kind of big. And this one's small, so that's weird to me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. You let me know. But here's a blending brush. Um, it's okay, but I don't think it's fluffy enough. Uh, especially for when you're really trying to blend, it's all right. It's all right, but I feel like I'm to the point where I want something that's really, really fluffy. Something that's really gonna blend. Got some makeup off. Um, what else do we have here? We have an eyelash brow and wand. 
defining eye brush. I've never used this before, but I think I am going to open it and start using that one to see if I like it. I don't know. The eyeliner, eyeliner brush. I think I'm going to use this on my sister because she has really tiny eyelids. What is this? Oh, that's the one I was talking about. Look, it's getting some fallout right there. That came off of the brush. This one is my my eyeshadow brush. But let me tell you, these two, this brush didn't come in this Dollar Essential kit. Why was this missing from this whole kit that they sent me? I didn't take it out. It just didn't come with one. So then we also have a Total Face brush, which I've... I've gone through one before and I think I've tossed it because this fell off and then these were falling out. Um, so yeah. And then because I've experienced those things with those brushes, I started using the Studio Line brushes. Here is a lip, no, 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 sorry, a concealer brush that I actually used for my lip. Um, let's see here. Complexion brush. I like, I like the complexion brush. I actually have one already open over here on this side. This one's not bad. I like it. Um, although there are bigger and fluffier brushes. Like, there was, there's a Sephora one that's like $45, I believe. But it's nice and fluffy. And I, I don't know, maybe one day I'll get that one. Here's, um... Contour brush. I like this one for under the eyebrow. Uh, this one came in a different um, eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. And I haven't used it yet. But it looks nice. It's just tiny compared to the, the, the regular eyeshadow brush. See, this one is an eyeshadow brush, but it's bigger than this one. But they're both an eyeshadow brush, so that's kind of odd. I've been using this blush brush as um, a replacement to to this one that I've been using. Um, and then I threw it out and then I started using this one from the studio line. And I've been liking it for blushes so far. It's not bad. It's an improvement actually. This one I've been using it to pack on pigment and glitter. And this is the concealer brush. And this one uh, is the eyeshadow C brush. I use this one too. It's quite nice. Um, I like it to use in the crease for blending and such. In addition to the blending brush. This one I have not used. What is this? Oh, a powder brush. Oh, the flat one. These are cool. I've used them a few times. And I've used the stifling one. I, I do have a stifling brush from the studio line and I like that one and this is a small smudge brush I have not used this I think I tried it on my sister once but I didn't get an effect that I wanted um, I think you can get a better smudge with let's see with a sponge tip so yeah that's my opinion um what is this one? This one's kind of small. Oh, angled foundation brush. I haven't tried this one, but I imagine it's probably good for around your nose. Although I haven't used it yet. And my hands are clean, by the way. I'm not just touching these <laughs> just to touch. But my hands are clean, and I actually just use this kit on myself and my sister. So, not a big deal. And here's a fan brush. Looks nice. If I do plan to, you know, go into cosmetology, I will probably would not use these brushes. Um, probably look into using a different set of brushes. Just because, you know, you want to get the best quality. Um, you want to do the best job that you can do on for someone else's makeup. Um, but these are good for me for right now for learning... Um, and then Yonique, they have 
uh, makeup brushes, and I want to try those. So I'm thinking later I'm going to order some because... Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to be a representative to the brand, I need to try out their all of their products. Anyways, um, and then these, I have extras. This one is eyeliner brush. I don't know. Do I have it in here? Oh, yeah, I have it in here. I don't know why I have an extra one. But I think I'm going to try these on my mom. And then <clears throat> here's the angled eyeliner brush. Angled eyeliner brush. Yeah, I wanted to try a gel liner, but I don't have one yet. Um, actually, no. You, the Yonique pigments, you can use these as an eyeliner. The pigments, which I've talked about before. Um, so I'm going to try this with those and see how that works too. So these two brushes, are gonna. I'm going to try that with my Yonique stuff. <clears throat> I have some brushes from Walmart that I haven't used, and then I also have some from Dollar Tree, but I opened one of these and I've used it a few times, and it, this one loses a lot of a lot of fibers, so I don't think you're... I think this is good for a travel kit, let's just say that. <laughs> that you know, that way if you lose it, you won't feel bad, because it was just a cheap one. These I got from eBay. A while back just because of the print and how cute they look that's that's all and they were about two bucks each pack so yeah yeah you can totally find these on ebay if you really want some that are like <clears throat> you know so decorated and colorful like this let me see what other brushes i have all right i found it the one that i have open and it's kind of like red. Let's see. Focus. I just want to focus. Come on. It's kind of red. Um, I don't know. It's real fibrous and it's easy to take off some of the hairs. But um, like I said, if, you, if you're just going to put powder on your face, it's not bad. It's just kind of like a little stiff. But... I don't even know if they have these anymore. But there, you can see the hairs right there. And they're, they will come out. Look, there you go. There's some right there. Yeah. So I won't be buying brushes like this anymore from uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so here is my... What is this? Powder brush. And this one's a flat one, though. It's got a flat top. Pretty cute. I've used it, and I like it. And then my stiffling brush that I've used a few times. But I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> That's the reason why I don't use it too often. I just don't want to get it dirty. Um, there's a lot of co comparison videos of this brush with other brushes. So just look it up. Um, but for the most part, um, I liked it. Um, it works better, I think, with, uh, with foundation that's light to medium coverage thick one couldn't I mean I don't really it, it's kind of too loose I think for super thick foundation but um you know you can make whatever you want work um and then I have a, the smaller stiffling brush of this one and then I got this one on sale skin perfecting for BB and CC creams bonus brush bamboo and recycled materials I like brushes like this. So yeah, yeah, I got this when it was on sale. And then my mom got me this one. This little kit uh, for Christmas, I believe. Very cute, and these are good for travel as well. And then I made my own, my own brush kit. Um, I don't know if you've, how long you've been subscribed to my channel, but... I got this case from Staples. So you open it. It's actually a pencil case, but when they had back to school sales and stuff, I was like looking around and I found this and I bought it. And I stuck different brushes in here. This one I got from Miss QT Style. She was super nice and she sent me this um 
I think just for kicks. And I don't think she'd be watching my channel because, I mean, she's a busy woman. But, like, I still appreciate her sending it to me. So, if you watch her, tell her that I appreciate her. Um, and then here's a blending brush that I got from eBay. Here's a brush that I got from Walmart. And No, 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 I'm sorry. I got this brush from Walgreens, and I think it was a dollar. Super cute. I, I just purely got it for the color, honestly. Here's a fan brush. I got this one from, um, from a downtown shop. It says Princesa on it. Princesa. Princesa. But this is very floppy. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I know how I would use this. You would just swipe off the leftover makeup on your cheeks. But I don't see how you could use this as anything else. Like, you can't really use it for contouring. Like those super thick ones. And I want to get one of those super thick ones. Here's a tiny two-sided brush, I think. I got this one from Walmart for no reason. Probably just because it was cheap. And then I got this one. Um, it's a two-sided one. Oh, yeah, it's a Sephora one. I almost forgot. It's a Sephora one. And it has eyeliner. And uh, I got this one on sale. Yeah, just because it had different colors. <laughs> But I got that one on sale. And then here's another powder brush. Posh powder. Why are they different? Oh, I know. This one is from Walmart. This one is from Walmart. And this one is from Walgreens. And this one is from Walgreens, too. And it's blue. Posh. I don't know the quality of these. I've never really tried them. Um, I just made this collection just to make it with colorful brushes. <laughs> so yeah, that was out of pure fun and joy. Really. Alright guys, so I guess that's all for this video. Um, yeah, it just uh, just a random video. I just, I just really wanted to talk about my brushes. And maybe if you all have tried different brushes... Maybe you can suggest to me what are some affordable ones that you like. But um, I honestly think I am going to purchase the unique ones. Because they have like a cylinder, kind of like the Sigma ones. They have that cylinder and it's a travel one, but it's a hundred and some dollars. Um, so won't be getting it anytime soon, but it's on definitely on my list. Um yeah well battery's going low so better let y'all go and that's all i can think about for now thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you subscribe i appreciate it so much talk to y'all later Bye bye